Gary, Lori, this is an incredible evening for the Producers Guild. What is it like to see all of these people gathered in one room knowing this is the world of people who make these fantastic movies and television films happen? Well, for me, I think, and Gary, too, we're so honored to be around our peers, and especially this year, who have made such incredible film and television. It is from big action, huge blockbusters to really small, intense, character-driven fare. In one year, it's an incredible year, and we're really happy to be here to celebrate with them. Yeah. You know, when the PGA mark came into being, it really, um, I don't want to say legitimized, but it helped the Producers Guild uh, incredibly, and um, now, the movie that it that is named Best Picture, it, it may have some influence on who the Academy votes for. So we're a, we're a very interesting award show at this point in our in this point in time. Well, you guys have a very good record we have with a good predicting. Track record. Very good. It's eight years in a row. Something like that. Yes. Um, something else I want to ask two veteran producers: what is the te what is the skill or the class or, or some piece of something that you learned along the way that you never thought you'd use in producing that you're so grateful that you took? Like for me, ninth grade typing class as a writer, who would have thought? Well, um, I'm a computer scientist and in the last 10 years I'd say I've probably used more of that side than the producing side in some of our projects. Uh, I started off working in a grocery store when I was 10 years old and worked all the way through high school and then worked through college and I think being a checker and a delivery boy actually helped me figure out how to handle people and to read people. So actually being 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 face to face with with a, a consumer at a young age might have helped me. And for those people who are coming into the business now, what would be the piece of advice you would give them about how to approach producing? There's so many different avenues into producing. What's the piece of advice that you would pass along? My advice would be find a story that you have to tell, that you wake up in the morning thinking about, that you go to bed at night thinking about. And yeah. there are so many places to get your film made and distributed that as long as you have that passion, you'll eventually get it someplace. And I would also say, uh, especially for the young YouTubers and Viners, that I would look at movies and television and see how they're shot, and see how, see how somebody photographs people talking to one another, see how somebody photographs a kiss, and see, and, and practice how, you know, shooting it from certain angles is actually going to benefit it. You know, we are a visual medium, so, and I, I find with a lot of the young stuff, it doesn't look as good as it could look. Interesting. Now you, you brought up technology, and it's amazing tonight that so many of the television programs are distributed on what is lovingly called new media, which isn't so new anymore. Talk to me for a minute about that. Well, I think that a story is a story is a story, and for us now there's so many screens, big, little, carrying them around, that what we need to concentrate on is on the storytelling, and I think that in the future people are going to watch them on so many screens, we're not going to really care where they originate, we're just going to care that people enjoy them. And as producers, how, as producers for you to safeguard the story, what's been the most important lesson that you've learned? Because you have to deal with so many people coming in and giving, you know, you've got the budget that you have to adhere to, you've got a studio coming in and saying, no, do this. How do you safeguard a story? Well, I think you need to hire people, directors, your production designers, the team around you, even your, even your co-producers, people who have the same vision, because then you're all moving in the same direction. And then when it gets hard, at least you still know where you're going, and you can lock arms and go. I, I also think that you have to get to the, you have to squint at the story, and you have to ask yourself what the real essence of the story is. Uh, if it's a comedy, then you better have the scenes that are funny. You're not going to lose those scenes. If it's a drama, you have to know where, where is the interaction of the characters to take place to, to reveal the drama in its best way. So I think you have to squint at it. And if you squint at it, sometimes you can see that there's a little fat maybe and you can take a little out. Well, that is great advice. I'm going to let you guys go because you have a million people here who want to talk oh, to you. you. Thank you so much thank for you. stopping to talk to us.